You're right people, Chaos here with a brand new video of how, as you can hopefully see in the title, how to use hashtags correctly in YouTube, as in showing off your content, making people know that that hashtag is connected to your um, content that you're making your channel, your products, okay? So some of you may know, some of you may not know that I use the hashtag, hashtag free the rage. Now the first tip I'll give you before showing how to use um, the hashtags correctly, okay, is make that hashtag unique to your content, to what you do and create, okay? Secondly, have it nice, simple and straightforward so people will remember it and know it, okay? They're the two main rules. I cannot underestimate them to you, okay? Make it unique and make it catchy and short. Okay, so you're now going to be asking, Chaos, how do I actually use my hashtags correctly for the search function? I've got up here, we'll click over to it, one of my videos. Now, this is one of most, mo my most popular videos for my channel. It's one of my oldest ones. Now, when I've got the hashtag, it's related to what's in the description, what's on your channel, and what's in your tags. So if you see here, I scroll down, I've got the hashtag in the description, okay? And I've got the hashtag in the tags, okay? So you want to make sure it's in the description in one way or another and in the tags, okay? You can have it in the title to make sure that hashtag search option is being used to its fullest, but sometimes that's overkill, okay? But it's as easy as that, just making sure it's in the description, it's in the tags, making sure it's saved, and it keeps on going. Now here, I've got TubeBuddy. I'll go over it in a future video. You can use the hashtags when you send stuff via Tweet, Google+, LinkedIn, Tumblr, and Facebook, and other ones to obviously help with that. Now you may be asking, well, how does it actually work in YouTube? Now, the way it works in YouTube, I'll go over to the search function a moment. So, if I go back to the main screen, I type in free the rage up here. I do apologize if the keyboard's a little bit loud. I enter. There you go. Every single one of my videos that has the free the rage hashtag in it now comes up. So obviously the top video is up there, and then my latest videos all come up. So it's a nice way of actually searching. So that is unique to you. So people, if they want to see your latest content, they can easily type that in, and it pops it up. Is another way of them searching for your content. But then it's very useful as well for Google+. Plus. So when you share something on Google+, Plus, if you put that hashtag in there, it's the same function. They can click on that. It will show all the related content that has that hashtag up in there. And it's the same for Twitter as well. So if you go over to Twitter, use the same hashtag, it obviously links all the posts that come up with that same hashtag. Okay? So I hope this video has made sense. I know it's short and sweet, but there's not too much to go in depth about. It's just making sure to put it first in your description, secondly in your tags, thirdly you can put it in the title, but it doesn't always work going in the title, okay? And the two main rules I have to reiterate is making sure it's unique to you and is nice and catchy that people can remember it and it's straightforward and you can use it then in your other medias so i hope it has helped if it has helped give it a thumbs up if it hasn't give it a thumbs down totally understand if you have used the um, hashtags before you know put them down below in the comments down below be interested in how it worked for you how it may have not worked and other people will be certainly interested as well and if you are new to the channel you're enjoying the hints and tips especially like this one here you know, by all means, smack that subscribe button down below. You're more than welcome to join the Chaotic crew. The door's always open for you lot. And as always, you all take care. Chaos out. I sincerely apologise for that. It's 
my new job, my new role, there's an awful lot of training involved. And I'm doing anything from two and a half to sometimes five and a half hours journey a day. And then I'm spending nine, ten hours plus at different stores to be trained up. And when I'm getting back, as you can gather, 